Wow. Frank? Joe! Oh, please. Need water. What are you? Please. I'll get you some water. Hang in there. Here you go, Frank. Oh, thank you. I don't understand. What are you doing here? Where are we? I'm not sure. I had no time. I pushed it as far as it'd go. But from what I've been reading, everything gets imprecise the farther you travel. Even your physical location can get messed up. Nobody's been this far. We could be hundreds, maybe thousands of years in the future for all I know. I don't get it. So you're a, a time pilot now? Do I really need to spell it out for you, Joe? I stole it. What? You stole the time machine, but, but why? Look, I've got no reason to tell you, but I guess it doesn't matter. You're the last person I'll be sharing anything with anyway. The truth is, I'm a Soviet agent. Cut it out, Frank. I'm not falling for that one again. I'm not joking. Frank, you're just sick. Confused. Come on, you can't be. Where's your Russian accent? Joe, I'm an undercover agent deployed by the Kremlin. My job is to fit in. How far do you think I'd get if I went around calling everyone comrade? Uh... My real name is Yuri Barishev. I came to America in my early 20s. I went to school here, worked here, spent nearly 10 years building the foundation of an ordinary life. But the truth is that my life is far from ordinary. I am a spy. I was planted by the Soviet Foreign Intelligence Agency to gather intel on advanced U.S. military research programs, and I started getting my first missions in the mid-60s. At the time, I thought I had built a promising portfolio of leads, but as I started to pursue them, most of them turned out to be worthless. By 1968, I had run out of goodwill with my handlers at the Kremlin. I was a disgrace, and headed for extraction. Desperate for something, anything to report, I came across a Canadian company moving large shipments of iridium, osmium, rare metals not typically used in mainstream manufacturing. The buyer turned out to be a government shell, rerouting the materials to unofficial contractors, one of which turned out to be Archon. Having convinced my superiors that I was onto something, I got a job as a janitor. But I didn't dig up much until you showed up. You were a great distraction, giving me plenty of chances to access off-limits areas. And for a while, I was able to scrounge together enough intel to keep the Kremlin happy. was 
was correct, but I didn't have the full picture. Not yet. The metals were being used to build something unusual, all right. But I just couldn't piece it together. What I found made no sense. Time travel, doomsday scenarios. It read like bad science fiction. For a while, I thought they were on to me, feeding me bogus information. But as time went on, with security tightening around the labs and no one confronting me, I began to suspect that my intel was legit. But time was running out, with Brezhnev and your President Nixon set to negotiate the nuclear disarmament treaty in a few weeks. My superiors were demanding results. With my job on the line, I got desperate and careless. And this morning, I got caught. I was tailing an engineer into an off-limits lab when I bumped into Barney from security. Ironically, management chalked up my trespassing to cluelessness and settled for just firing me. Knowing I wouldn't get another chance, I stole a security badge and snuck back in. I just found the time machine operator's manual when you showed up out of nowhere and nearly screwed it all up. Then it clicked. Not only could I steal the technology, it was the perfect getaway, too. Using the manual, I set the destination as high as it would allow. I figured if I could just get far away, I'd have plenty of time to figure out how to get it back to the motherland, but... Well, I guess you know the rest. <laughs> 